this is Blake's Nature Live. I want to show you what I did, uh, how this papaya is doing. It's uh, growing really good in this spot. It has the thermal from the wall. So in the afternoon, the sun shines on it. And then at night, it heats up and it radiates outwards. So I just pollinated this female flower. And as you can see, it has two papayas right now. This papaya, I took a flower from another papaya. That was a red lady. Pollinated it. This one, I did not even do anything with it, and it's still pollinated. So it means this one flower had the male and female part inside of it, because I have not seen anything pollinate these guys. So up here, we have a female flower that popped up. I've already pollinated it with one of its male flowers that I saved in the refrigerator, so you can save them for a few weeks. Because sometimes the, fem the male flowers will pop up and you won't have any females. So I already pollinated, I pulled some of the, the flower petals back so you could see it better and I could pollinate it better. And you can see right in the middle there's the, there's the papaya and on the outside there's the pollen. So this one's unique. It has the male and female part inside the same female flower. Majority of the time you'll have a, a papaya that has a male flower and a female flower separate on the same papaya but you gotta pollinate them. And they won't have the male pollen inside, they'll just have the lighter uh, yellow female part that gets pollinated. So this one's really unique because it has the, the female flower that has male pollen inside of it to pollinate by itself. Also it has the separate male flower. And then other ones have just female flower, male flower separate. And then you have the other tops that have just only female flowers, papayas, and then there's papayas that are only all males. So this is probably your best one for you because you don't have to do much with it. But I still try to pollinate it to get a little bit bigger fruits like this. So this one will form in a few days. But I just wanted to show you that. And with this papaya, when I planted it, when it was probably went on even five inches, I cut off its main tap root. So I wonder if that has something to do with it, if it changes its genetics or so on. But this one's been really happy here, doing super well. You can see it has a slow drip from under the the house. It has um, it sucks moisture out and pulls it out here. So it's getting all the water it needs real slowly. Real happy. And I'm hoping to try some fruits this uh, spring or summer. These should be ready by then. Get it through the winter. But hey, I wanted to show you this. It's pretty cool to me. I would like to multiply this one. All right, this is Blake's Nature Life. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and share it, please. I would really appreciate it. Catch you later.